Oda has confirmed that somebody from the Straw Hat crew will die, and we've composed a comprehensive list of reasons for survival and reasons for demise for you today. Stay tuned. First up, Monkey D. Luffy, the man himself. We have him at a 40% chance of survival. The reasons we think he will survive are as follows. Luffy is quite literally the symbol of dreams and freedom. The central protagonist in a story is often protected by the plot. Luffy also represents the dawn of a new era, and this new era is about to begin. How could he possibly die at this point? Luffy probably has the strongest will to live and protect his friends. And lastly, he has repeatedly overcome deadly situations. With a 60% chance of death, we have the following reasons for demise. Luffy parallels Goldie Roger's fate. Luffy has continually used techniques that are life shortening. Luffy is definitely one to take the most extreme risks. Maybe Oda's building up Luffy for a potential ultimate sacrifice for a greater cause. We know that Oda has very strategically plotted this incredible story for us. Narrative symmetry with tragic pirate legends in actual history would make sense. Up next, we have the first mate, Zoro. We have Zoro at a 60% chance of survival. The survival reasons are, his dream is to become the world's greatest swordsman, and he needs to maintain that title. Zoro defines loyal protection of his crew. Zoro is known for his incredible resilience, and he is an essential part of Luffy's journey to becoming the Pirate King. Some of the reasons why we have him as not surviving are as follows. He is one of the most willing to sacrifice himself for Luffy. He has a history of enduring near fatal injuries. He could be filling the narrative of a warrior's honorable death. He continually takes on increasingly dangerous battles. His sacrificial nature was shown in Thriller Bark with the nothing happened moment. At number three, we have Usopp with a 70% chance of survival. Some of the reasons we have him surviving are his role as a storyteller. And what better person to tell the great story of the new Pirate King than Usopp himself? Usopp has had an incredible journey from cowardice to bravery. Usopp is also an essential part of the comedic relief and emotional core of the crew. Some of the reasons why we have him not surviving is the foreshadowing through his brave tales, his dreams of literally dying a heroic death, a pattern of facing and overcoming fears, actual historical parallels with brave warriors, and the inherent danger of his role as a sniper. Next up is Sanji with an 80% chance of survival. Reasons for surviving are his dream of finding the all blue. Sanji is the cook of the Straw Hats. Food is sustenance. Food is life itself. We can't snuff out life. And we think he has some unresolved narrative threads with the Vinsmoke family. The reasons we have him not making, although slim, are his tendency towards self-sacrifice, the history of risking his life for others, his romanticized view of chivalry and protection, his historical high-risk combat situation, and the emotional and physical toll from past sacrifices. Next, we have Nico Robin with a 65% chance of survival. Reasons for survival are she is the keeper of world history and a poneglyph reader. The only one. She is central to the discovery of the world's true history. She is the symbol of her lost civilization. She has the potential to change the world with her knowledge if she becomes a teacher. Luffy has infused her with strong personal growth and the will to live. Reasons we have her not making it to the end of the story are that she is constantly targeted for her unique ability and knowledge. There is inherent danger associated with uncovering forbidden knowledge. Her past experiences with betrayal and loss. Her knowledge poses a threat to powerful figures and consistently maintaining the narrative of sacrifice for the greater good. The last Straw Hat member that we're gonna go over is Jinbei. We have Jinbei at a 50% chance of survival. And here are some of the reasons. He symbolizes a role in uniting humans and fishmen. He only recently joined the crew, suggesting an unfulfilled narrative. He is such a strong symbol of loyalty, honor, and respect. He has a strong sense of duty towards Luffy and the crew. And he is the embodiment of a bridge between different worlds. On the contrary, here are some reasons for his demise. He too has a history of self-sacrifice. He has a strong willingness to put his life on the line. He possesses warrior's honor 
possibly leading to a noble end. He has had past sacrifices, like protecting Luffy at Marineford. And finally, he has a samurai-like code of ethics. What survival rates would you tag to each of these characters? 